Before we begin, make sure you double check all materials and read the instructions first. Also, make sure the blue absorption pad is laid out in case of any spills. For assembly of this product, please reference our assembly video for the Vinny Puncture Simulation Kit. The link is at the top of this video. This video is designed to address some of the common problems encountered when using this kit. Let's dive in. Tip 1. If you are having trouble with blood flow or drawing blood, remember to lift the stand higher. A little bit of extra gravity and pressure always helps. Tip 2. Remember to prime the line by pumping the drip chamber. Fill the chamber about halfway, which helps prep the blood flow. Tip 3. There are multiple clamps on the model. Make sure the appropriate clamps are open for the procedure you are practicing. Tip 4. After you connect the inlet line, place the outlet line in a bowl with all clamps open to allow for free blood flow. Tip 5. You can also connect a syringe to the inlet or outlet tube to draw or pump blood through the model. This sometimes helps if there is any sediment buildup. Tip 6. Speaking of sediment buildup, make sure your blood mixture is not too thick and is properly mixed. Tip 7. When using needles, make sure the eye of the needle is facing up. This will make inserting the needle into the arm much easier. Tip 8. Finally, make sure there are no kinks or tangled tubing, preventing the blood flow. And you're finished! Watch our other videos for additional procedures you can do with the Vinny Puncture Simulation Kit. Thank you for choosing Anatomy Lab, your trusted source for anatomical simulators and models.